Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to look into my first quarter goals, a video that I posted in December at this point, and let you know how it is that I did on those goals and to also set myself some goals for the second quarter, which really is almost a month over, but you know i talked about number one wanting to read more short story collections number two wanting to read more mystery thriller fiction and number three i also planned to read three more newberry contenders for the short story collections i wanted to read two i ended up only reading one short story collection in the last three months my goal was to read daddy before i filmed this video and that never happened so the only one that i read was lot by brian washington and i would say that i didn't love this short story collection and that might have played a part in why i wasn't so excited to pick up another one again but i will say that i have put a few more on hold at the library of ones that i've been hearing about um, or that i feel excited about so i really want to carry this goal over to the next quarter just because i didn't feel like i gave it enough of a fight to actually read two short story collections. Here it is again. My goal for the second quarter is that I want to read two short story collections. I mean the goal is at the end of the year to have read enough that I feel a more precise idea of what it is that I'm looking for in a short story collection and I will never get there unless I keep reading them. So that's why this goal is moving over. The second goal that I set for myself for the first quarter was to read two Agatha Christie-esque mystery novels. I rewatched my video and the way that I described it I really said things like I like her tropes and I like her characters. I wanted one of those books that I read for that goal to be an Agatha Christie book because I've only read one. I ended up doing that so I read another Agatha Christie book. It was a Miss Marple mystery. I really wanted like a main detective because I like books like that. I really felt like this Agatha Christie book just wasn't wasn't it for me. I didn't feel like the detective had enough of a role in the story for me to be really invested and I also felt it was very difficult to tell apart so many characters. I didn't love this one <laughs> and I actually ended up loving more the second book that I read for this goal which was The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I've always heard her described as very Agatha Christie-esque where it's like a main mystery but there's not like a lot of gore or a lot of violence really. I would definitely agree that this is the case in this book because The Turn of the Key is a lot more about about uncovering secrets of things that were happening in this house and I also really en enjoyed kind of like the smart home aspects of this in deep contrast with like the Victorian mansion vibes um, that it also gave off. That's kind of like the cottage feel that I was kind of looking for in a secluded very small town. But I also like the nannying aspects of it. I thought that that as a main character was interesting. I will say I thought that the ending didn't quite deliver for me. I felt like Ruth Ware really wanted to deliver like a last twist and I don't know if that was completely necessary for me um, because it felt like a lot of the book was a lie really that I was reading. This was quite fun and exhilarating and I definitely felt like aspects of it were more thriller than mystery-esque. Definitely I was super creeped out listening to the audiobook and all of the creaks of the house and of this maybe paranormal thing that's happening in the house. I read this in just a couple sittings and that is sometimes an experience that I miss because a lot of the stuff that I read sometimes takes me a little bit longer to get through. I want to read more mystery thrillers in the rest of the year. I'm not setting like a specific goal for the second quarter um, but it's something that I definitely felt like in the first quarter I started to nail down a little bit more of like yes I like this stuff. Um, again if you have any recommendations for that leave them down below. And then the third goal was to read three middle grade books that were up for the Newberry. I took screenshots of my Goodreads to remember. Uh, <laughs> so I ended up reading Before the Ever After by Jacqueline Woodson and I really enjoyed the narration um, by Guy Lockhart who is one of my favorite audiobook narrators. I listened to that on Libro FM um, and that had really tender moments. I really enjoyed the young boy friendship aspects of it because it's about a young boy who's dealing with his dad's trauma but it's also about his life and his friendships and I really enjoyed those moments and they felt very realistic to what preteen boys are like and I ended up giving that one three and a half stars. Then after that I read the one that actually ended up winning the Newberry and I read it right after it won the Newberry and that was When 
you trap a tiger by tay keller this was just lovely i really really love this book i felt swept into the magicalness of it and i was really captured by the main character just like her thought process the situations that she was really in and what she was going through it was it was really really sweet it had like everything that i like which is friendship and family bonds and trying to understand your identity and it had moments of like magical stuff happening that usually i don't like in books but i thought tay keller did a great job in making them feel grounded and realistic in the book i don't know it made me like it even more because i've tried so many books that incorporate those magical elements into a realistic story and i haven't liked the magical elements but i love them in when you trap a tiger and then the last one that i read for this goal i read skunk and badger and this is the first book in a new series by amy timberlake it is definitely for younger readers kind of closer to I would say like third to fourth grade. It's a lot more playful, it's a lot sillier, and it follows animal characters too. But I thought that the storytelling was really fun and it's definitely a recommendation to read out loud. If you have younger kids in your home or if you know younger kids, this is something to recommend to them. It's definitely kind of has frog and toad vibes of two unlikely friends and one of them's kind of grumpy and they just realized how important their friendship is to their lives. So that was it for the goals that I had in the first quarter. As you've already heard, I would like to move the short story goal into the next quarter and read two more. So there's my numerical goal, two more short story collections. I guess the second quarter ends in is it june april may june yes and i think i can get it done um i've been planning this out and i think that it is finally time and i think it's also important for me to like say out loud because i feel like i said i'm gonna read this book many times and i just haven't done that so therefore i am here to tell you that i'm finally going to dive into isabel wilkerson it is finally time i bought The Warmth of Other Sons because I was not getting to the library copy in time. I wasn't reading it fast enough because it is a very long book. I also tried the audiobook from the library on Playaway and I tried, um, I was going to do the discs as well and I just, I never have as good a time with the devices that come from the library and I like just using Libby or Overdrive or Hoopla or anything just because it's easier for me to like up the speed or down the speed and stuff like that. That. and this isn't available on Libby it's not available and I think it's because it's an older book and hopefully in the next year or two or whatever they will make that available on Libby for libraries to buy but it's not at the moment so I actually ended up getting a scribbed account to try to listen to this 22 hour audiobook as I am reading the physical copy that I now own and that is going to be my goal to finish this by the end of this quarter hopefully by the end of May everybody that I've heard talk about this say that it's very easy to get invested in it and I just haven't hit that level I've read maybe 60 or so pages in the past and then stopped reading it and it kind of fell by the wayside so here I am again gonna read it i'm also going on a trip to yellowstone at the beginning of may so my hope is that i take this with me and it's one of the ones that i read and then what i wanted to do is to just read these two kind of back to back um because i heard so many people talk about this one in the booktube prize and it wasn't in my category and it's one that i still want to read and this one i do have the libby version of it is available on audiobook so i want to read more about their sons before i read cast that's going to be my second goal for the second quarter i want to read the two isabel wilkerson's that you see right here so i hope that i get all of that done i think it's a little bit more pared down for the second quarter but that's probably because it's almost may already and this is me coming back to my channel to talk about my goals if you have any thoughts on my goals or if you have any comments about the books that i mentioned please leave them down below thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video Bye bye